Rated M for mature. There is no such thing as good or bad. There's only what you want and what you do to get it. And when life gives you lemons, you squeeze them in the eyes of your enemies. It all started with Doc McCoy, a ruthless mercenary, cold son of a gun. We hired him and he delivered, but we made a mistake. We shorted him a buck or two. And that's when the shit started to fall apart. That's where the trouble started. Things got worse when we fucked over old man O'Hara. His niece, Kate. She didn't just get mad. She got even. And then there was this half-wit, Hector. What a loud, strong, and cockeyed AP is. Gotta admit, he beat the living daylights out of our men at Flagstone. Though I'd reckon he didn't operate all on his lonesome. At first they were all pretty annoying, but no real threat. It all changed when those bastards blew up the bridge at Eagle Falls. Something had to be done. The only problem was, they completely disappeared. Scattered like cockroaches. Some would think that's where the story ends. It didn't. That was just the beginning. We hadn't heard anything from the troublemakers since the accidents around Flagstone. But we did get word from Louisiana that Isabel Moreau, a name I didn't think I'd ever hear again, had appeared like a ghost. And as usual, whenever she's involved, things turned all topsy-turvy. Those roaches really thought they could mess with us even burned down our precious swamp hideout. These scum, thinking they were some smart-ass desperados. Irritating, yes, but ain't never been a real threat to the company. Nobody is. But those damn varmints. They got cocky, and we finally caught them in a simple ambush in Las Piegas. Like shooting fish in a barrel. But it got me thinking. Nah. They couldn't have pulled it off without him. John Cooper. Don't you go getting your knickers in a twist. He's locked up tight. But we have to keep a close eye on him. You know how it is with roaches. Cut off the head, and it will keep on living for a week. Cut off his legs, and at least it can't walk. He's the one brought them together. That Cooper. He won't stop until he draws his last breath. <laughs>